Hi, I'm Ron Wilson, host of In the Garden. This week is Pollinator Week. And if you want to check out more about Pollinator Week and why they've made it Pollinator Awareness Week, go to their website. It's pollinator.org. And you'll learn about all the different pollinators in your area. Now, we always think about honeybees and the native bees, but there are a lot of other insects that are pollinators as well, including other things like bats and hummingbirds and butterflies and a whole lot more beetles. Just a whole lot. It's a lot to learn about. It's great homework. Uh, you'll have a, enjoy the website, but it's pollinator.org. Now, our plants of the week, I love these. Looking for something in the shade, but you're tired of hostas? Check this one out. It's pulmonaria. This one happens to be Bertram Anderson. It just finished flowering, kind of a blue flower on top. Get about 12 inches high. The variegation is like it's uh, got splashed with a little bit of milk on top. So you have the, the white variegation, silvery variegation with these green leaves. Uh, very tough, very durable. Slugs really don't go after it, and the deer won't go after it either. So it's a good one for the shade. Again, it's uh, lungwort or pulmonaria. How about this one for the sun? This is an oldie but a goodie. Grandma had it. Great-grandma had it. Yarrow. And, of course, love the foliage on yarrow. And there's so many different types of day, some that can get five and six feet tall. This particular series stays a little bit smaller, usually about 18 inches or so. This is called Saucy Seduction. Look at that color. It comes in a, a yellows and oranges, um, whites. Uh, multiple colors, but again, wonderful flowers. Keep deadheading it through the summer. It'll just keep flowering for you all summer long. Great foliage, loves the sun, loves the heat. Yarrow, that happens to be saucy seduction. And I always like the herbs that are great flavor substitutes. We talk about lovage and a lot of the other ones that you can substitute for flavoring. This happens to be salad burnet. And salad burnet is a, sal a substitute for cucumber flavoring. This is a perennial herb um, that comes back year after year. And these small leaves have a wonderful flavor, go ahead Joe, try it, of cucumber. So if you have problems eating cucumbers because they make you burp or whatever, add some salad burnet to your salad and you'll get a cucumber flavor, very light cucumber flavor, um, and the green, of course, so it's very good for you as well. And it's very easy to grow in containers or in the ground. It's called salad burnet, a cucumber flavor substitute herb. For more great gardening information, visit our website. Did you like it, Joe? No, he did not like it. At ronwilsononline.com.